Hey, what's up everyone? KobanRani456 here today, presenting you all a very special video, as we are going to be starting our Sonic Boom TV show review series, and I am joined with the one and only owner of Tails Channel, Matt. Don't forget that I'm the owner. What is up guys? Matt, the owner of Tails Channel here. Glad to be on here, and let's talk about some Sonic Boom. Yeah, dude, glad to have you here. And just to let you all know, uh, Matt is basically going to be my co-host for this series, so he will be here every single episode that uh, we cover for Sonic Boom TV. So, awesome. Glad to have you on board, dude. Can't wait to get started, man. This is going to be fun. All right, so as you all know, um, basically today was the premiere of the Sonic Boom TV show on Cartoon Network, which aired at 6 a.m. Central Standard Time for me, and... Good God! <laughs> I mean, it was hard. It was hard to wake up. I was having a lot of problems earlier today because, for some reason, someone in my family put a pin on Cartoon Network's channel. So I was scrambling, trying to figure out how I could actually watch the TV show. But uh, finally, managed to do it thanks to some uh, streams online showing the videos. So um, we're gonna actually have a link down below so that you can go and watch them because some people live in like Canada or like you know UK or whatever and the show hasn't aired for them just yet so if you want to watch it uh, go to the link in the description below but anyway yeah let's go ahead and actually uh, talk about the TV show so Matt what were your thoughts on the uh, first episode of the show the first episode was obviously the one you know they showed us in the first trailer of the TV series and I thought it was pretty good um I mean, obviously, you got Tails, who Sonic wants to protect and not get hurt again. And he's trying to find a new psychic so Tails doesn't get hurt again. And, you know, I thought it was very heartwarming for, you know, Sonic and Tails to have that brotherly connection. And, you know what I'm saying, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I agree with you. It kind of reminded me of Sonic Lost World in some ways. You know, Sonic was just genuinely concerned about Tails to where he, he even had... <laughs> he was talking to Tails he was just like, hey, now's the time to have grandkids, you know? <laughs> you know, go out and go out and do He's something. He's like eight years old. <laughs> I know. He's just like, you're fired. But y you could tell, like, inside, he really didn't want to do it. But he was just like... He thought that he was protecting Tails. It was just one of those moments where he was being a little bit too overprotective, which he realized later on. But yeah, I, I did like I, I did like that a lot. They started off strong with that uh, Sonic and Tails friendship, so that was good. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, also, um, did you like have any particular moment in the show that you like for the first episode that you liked a lot? Like, was there anything that stood out to you at all? I definitely liked how they had that scene where Sonic was drowning, even though the line was kind of like under dramatic in my opinion. He's like, oh, I can't swim, and then Tails comes and saves him. Because you know, Sonic the Hedgehog in general can't swim, mm -hmm. so Tails saves him, and then Sonic defeats Burnbot, which I thought was really awesome. And then you got the classic Dr. Eggman, evil ham scene. <laughs> <laughs> so. Yeah, the evil ham was funny. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, that's right, though. I forgot about that, how uh, he did yell, like, you know, oh, I can't swim, and all that stuff. But now that I think about it, yeah, it was very... It, it wasn't dramatic at all. He was just very like, oh, I can't swim. <laughs> so <laughs> the, deliver, the uh, delivery of that line was a little bit, I guess, dry. But it was, it was still, you know, good to see that. They had references to stuff that's been known in the Sonic series. So that, you know, people who are actually watching this can, like, know this stuff. Like, new, a new generation can know these things about Sonic, which yeah. is pretty cool. Um, I think my can't favorite... Forget, sorry. Oh, you go ahead. can't forget about Knuckles Jr. That's oh my god, <laughs> yes! <laughs> I had to say it, I'm sorry. I love that part so much. Sonic's eyes are just half open, and he's just like... <laughs> Knuckle lead up. <laughs> He's just like, no, Knuckles, I'm trying to find a sidekick. And Knuckles is just like, I think you'd be a great sidekick. How about <laughs> Knuckles Jr.? And Sonic just grabs that notepad and erases it. Oh my god, it was so funny. I'm sorry for interrupting you, man. Go ahead. No, 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 it's fine. Because it, you're helping me, you're helping remind me of stuff. Because even though I really did enjoy the episodes, I'm kind of forgetful. Especially since I watched that at like 6 a.m. when... I'm struggling to stay up like Sonic in the second episode. Yeah. <laughs> so if you, if anything pops up in your head, you know, don't don't hesitate to mention it or whatever. I, I sure will. But uh, what I was gonna say was, I think probably my favorite moment was uh, 
when fastidious beaver is just like trying to be like so smart and he's just like whom instead of whoever whomever <laughs> and then he's just talking so much to where Eggman is just like get out of here and pushes him <laughs> straight off the cliff that, that part had me dying cause... you know fun fact mike pollock also voices fastidious beaver really yeah he voices both Eggman and him, so that's oh pretty cool. Oh my god, that's awesome. Yeah, I, I did not know that at all, so that's actually great to know. A little fun fact for you all in the uh, comments below. <laughs> and then I also liked how they kind of have a little Sonic Riders reference in that. Uh, oh, yeah. In the first episode, too, to where, you know, Tails is just kind of flying all over the place, and then Eggman, you know, he's got, like, the weapons with his like a board or whatever that was I don't know I thought it was pretty cool it, it definitely reminded me of Sonic Riders I was just like man I want a new Sonic Riders game <laughs> not but, on the Kinect though uh, yeah definitely <laughs> definitely not on the Kinect but you know the, episode 1 was pretty good but in comparison to episode 2 oh my god episode 2 is gold dude episode 2 was one of the best things I've seen on TV in a long time from a cartoon that was hilarious. All right, so do you want to actually uh, talk about episode two for a little bit? Kind of explain yeah. what the story is about for that? Yeah, sure. So basically, uh, Eggman asked to stay with Sonic and Tails because he says that his base is kind of, you know, destroyed and going under to construction. So basically, Eggman's plan throughout this whole time, and he doesn't say it at first, is to be that annoying roommate, you know, like in college or... You always had that one annoying roommate. So Eggman was trying to be um, that guy and he was trying to keep Sonic and Tails awake. So when he finally did, um, you know, show them his evil plot, Sonic and Tails were too tired to actually stop it. And then in, in the end, they do stop the evil plot, which Eggman kind of backfired on himself. So that's pretty much the whole gist of it. But the whole episode is really funny. Yeah, even though he gave kind of like a, you know, a little, I guess, overview of what the episode is all about, you definitely want to watch all of it because there were just so many little funny, like, quips and lines and everything. Yes. Like, the episode starts off strong because, like, the first, you know, it's just Sonic sleeping on his couch, you know, with the pillow and the Tempur-Pedic or whatever <laughs> under his feet. The food <laughs> Well, he's got, like, a Tempur-Pedic, like little pillow underneath his feet for some reason. I don't know why. And then when he goes to the door, Eggman's just like, you know, so he seems so genuine. Like, he's trying so hard to be, like, Sonic's friend, and he's just like, you know, hey, do you mind, like, letting me stay? You know, it's raining and all that stuff. I didn't bring any weapons. Look, check my pants. <laughs> it's no, like, no, just no, like, that's okay. Yeah, exactly. No, 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 I trust you. He just doesn't want to get anywhere near those pants. I don't and, think anyone would. And, and then... The later on in the episode, like shortly afterwards, one of my favorite moments, and it just had me dying, was when Eggman's just like, Oh, you caught me in my evil pajamas, which are pink, by the way. And he's just like, Look, they have a trap door in the back. <laughs> and it just shows his butt. Like, it's, it's so tiny. And then the moment they zoom in on it, it's just like, eh -eh, <laughs> with the squeaky toy noise. I swear, that, that part just had me dying so hard. You know, you remember when, you know, it was like the intervention with Amy, Tails, and Sonic and Eggman, and then Sonic was like, you're a ter you're a horrible roommate and nobody in this house likes you. Dang, uh, Sonic Sonic had no chill. <laughs> he Sonic, was no mercy at Sonic all. Sonic is so mean in this series. Dude, that's one thing I've really noticed. He is, ha ha has anyone else noticed that Sonic is like a complete douche? And then not only that, he has his eyes closed halfway about half the time of the show. They're always halfway closed. Like, especially on the Eggman episode. In fact, they're probably like almost all the time halfway closed. He just he just looks so annoyed. They captured his personality pretty well. Because Sonic has always kind of been like that cocky, you know, kind of like impatient douche. But really you know, egotistical and all that stuff. Yeah, but it's like, he still he still cares about his friends, you know? So it's yeah. like, even though he is like that, you know, he still cares about his friends. Which is one of uh, one of the like more redeeming qualities of Sonic. Because, I mean, I, I kind of hate cockiness. 
Like, that's one thing I really do hate a lot. But it's like, with Sonic, I don't know, they kind of figured out how to make it somewhat humorous, even though he was kind of a douche in these two episodes. <laughs> but another part that really had me cracking up was when Eggman uh, was like, when Amy was just trying to be so nice and polite to Eggman, it was just like, come on, if we let him out in the let him out, you know, outside and whatnot, don't let him stay in our house, you know, we won't be any better than him. And he's just like, that's right! You won't be any better than me! <laughs> he's just enjoying his eggs benedict, and she's just like, are you, are you, um, reaching to your feelings? Are you eating your feelings? Yeah, and he's just like, someone get her away from me! <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god, it, it was it was just like, dang, why is, Egg, Eggman was definitely the star of the show. Like, Dude. so far he is, without a doubt, my favorite character. <laughs> Mike so Pollock fun. gives such a good performance as Eggman, I swear. Dude, he the random so pillow fights too, like, you can just tell, Mike Pollock had such a blast <laughs> recording this. Like, I'm, I'm actually really, really glad that Sonic Boom is coming out as a TV show because it seems like now we get to know these characters that, you know, Sega hasn't really fleshed out as much in the past. Now we get to kind of see their personalities a lot mm -hmm. more. And it's like, it just gives them more character. Because, I mean, okay, I know some people didn't like Sonic Colors or like, you know, Sonic Lost World and all that stuff, but those were the games to where they kind of started trying to add humor to the Sonic series and tried to you know, I guess bring their char their character or like personalities a bit more, but it's like now they're coming out even more with this show. Definitely. And I, I like it a lot. Some people may not like it, you know, I don't know, because it's not like too edgy. Too edgy five me, like S Sonic Adventure 2 I'll or Shadow <laughs> or Shadow oh. or Shadow the Hedgehog or something like that. But I, I think it's really good. I don't think Sonic should, you know, just be like you know super edgy all the time you know i i think they found a good balance with how you know some of the characters personalities are you know sonic mm -hmm. still has that you know kind of like cocky and impatient personality but you know he's still funny and then eggman's just that comical that comical villain you know you can't take him too seriously and it, I, I just love eggman so much <laughs> he's so well, good one more thing let's remember in that episode where son amy was deconfirmed wait what <laughs> when Amy was like, let's have a group hug, and Sonic was like, no. Oh, Son Amy deconfirmed, yeah. <laughs> but see, that's the thing. I'm guessing probably later on, um, you know, they kind of start getting a little bit closer, but they started yeah. off with, you know, Sonic just being like, no. In fact, yeah. he puts his hand in her face. He's just like, <laughs> no. He <laughs> just runs off. He just he is such a douche. He dips it <laughs> so fast. It's hilarious. And, man, that, that was such an evil plan, though, to just make them not have any sleep or whatever. So it's like they're struggling to fight against them. Like, something that would be super easy for them to do. They're just, like, dead. Their eyes are, like, black and everything. And everyone was saying in the trailer that he had eyeliner, but that's why he has black under his eyes, ladies and gentlemen. Because mm. he's tired. I was wondering what that was originally. I thought it was just like shadow or something like that. I, I don't know. It was. It looked really weird. I didn't think like he got hurt or anything like that. It was just he was like, I don't know. But yeah, no, I get it. Yeah, it, it makes sense now. It all makes sense. <laughs> I, I'm just looking at the part right now where Song just puts his hand in Amy's face and she's just like, let's have a group hug. <laughs> <laughs> no. Oh my god. And then another part that was really funny too was, uh, <clears throat> man, I don't know, it just made Eggman just, like, they just made Eggman so funny in this show. Like, he's snoring and laughing evilly. How does that work? Like, how can one do that? <laughs> how does that work? And it's funny because, I don't know if anyone else noticed this, but Sonic and Tails had to sleep on the floor because of Eggman, Cubot, and Orbot. Oh yeah, I completely forgot about Orbot like, and Cubot. Like, Eggman is just trying to run them out of their house, basically. <laughs> it's so funny. And then when Eggman cried too, after Sonic's like, no one likes you, like, it actually made me feel genuinely sad for Eggman. <laughs> I was just like, oh my god. It was too funny. Way too funny. But dude, I hope we see a little more of Orbot and Cubot in the future. Like, we got so little out of them. Mm-hmm. 
I, I think they're um I, I think they're really funny. Um especially in Sonic Colors. I love them a lot. So it'd be great to see them have some spotlight. I'm pretty sure they definitely will. Like, you know, you know how TV shows are sometimes, you know. Yeah. At one point they won't like really give a character too much spotlight, but then they'll have like a specific episode for them. So I'm pretty sure we'll have an episode specifically about Cubot and Orbot. That would you be know, awesome. You know what would be really funny? Mm -hmm. If Eggman just like treated them like trash at one point to where then they're left out, you know, outside of Eggman's evil lair. So they go to Sonic and Friends, and Sonic and Friends treat them like friends, and then, <laughs> and then you know, later on Eggman realizes that he misses them, and then it's just like has to beg for them to come back. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> I'm calling it right now. If that happens, remember <laughs> we'll this see. video. Remember we'll this see. video. But um, but there was something else I wanted to talk about. Something I'm completely forgetting. I was on my uh, mind. The intro and. It was the intro, oh right? yeah 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 okay so um yeah. you know there go. was there was one thing that actually was quite a huge letdown about the show um you know it's not actually like in the show or anything like that but it's actually the intro like the opening intro for the show it's really 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 bad probably it's... one of the worst i've seen like considering that sonic is known for having you know such great cinematics and awesome fantastic music it was so underwhelming to see that intro of all things like i don't even know what that music was it was nothing memorable at all it's not anything catchy like you know he's the fastest thing alive or Sonic go fast. underground yeah it's not something that, that you know is in your head You'll for remember. like eternity like it, it's not anything memorable at all and that's so bad because it's like you wanna, like, th that was one huge thing about Sonic shows before. Like, they had really catchy intros. You know, gotta go fast, do, 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 gotta go fast. But dude, dude, I don't understand why they would call a series Sonic Boom if they're not going to have Sonic Boom as the <laughs> theme song. I mean, come on. Dude, that was such a missed opportunity. I, r I really feel like what they should do is have Crush 40 do a, like, use a Crush 40 remix of Sonic Boom. That'd be awesome. Because they did that at the Sonic Boom event, just for Sonic Boom, and then you know it just it w it would make so much sense to have a TV show. It sounds modern and all that stuff. It's not like you know, like I'm not saying that the original Sonic Boom from you know the 90s is bad by any means. In fact, I love no. it a lot. But for it to cater to a new audience, I think Crush 40 would be more fitting for the show. You know, with the guitar riffs and everything. And it, it'd be catchy. You know, people would yeah. be singing Sonic Boom, Sonic Boom, Sonic Boom. Okay, I'll stop. <laughs> I think they could fit that in there too. Like, easily. 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 Super easily. And then, actually, another thing that was a little bit peculiar, but, I mean, it's a 30-minute TV show, and each episode is split into 15 minutes, so... I guess it's understandable, but one thing I was kind of a little bit surprised by was that they didn't have like an introduction for Styx. Yeah, she just popped it out of nowhere in the second episode. Yeah, it's like they just kind of expect you to know who Styx is. Like, I like mean, she, we know because yeah. we've been following the series for so long, but it's like newcomers are just going to be like, who is that? Ooh. Oh, is that? Oh, Marine! Marine has a new <laughs> Marine She's has back. a new design. Wait, what happened to her voice? <laughs> That's not Marine. They got they got Cleo, Cleo from Clifford the Big Red Dog, the voice Marine. <laughs> Dude, no lie though, she sounds like Isma, like Eartha Kid. Like I, I feel like Eartha Kid just like voiced her, but you know she's. But dude, dude, I think Styx, honestly, is one of the funniest characters in the show. Yeah, Styx is pretty funny. I also like Amy, too. Like, she's not unbearable or anything like that. She's, like, the compassionate person, and, you know, she's not overwhelming by any means at all. You know, she's been kind of overwhelming in, you know, like, previous stuff in the Sonic series. But and she was very... I don't know. Like, you can tell she definitely likes Sonic, which is good. You know, that's good. But she's not going 
overboard. Which is why it just it just makes Sonic look more like a douche when he when he's just like flat out ignoring her and rejecting no. her. It's like no. No. <laughs> That, that's what I think makes him look even more like a douche, just because Amy isn't an overbearing character at all in the show. But, you know, I, I, I like all the characters. I even like Tails a little bit. He's pretty funny. Mm -hmm. You know, he's he's definitely a lot better than what I've seen in past Sonic Lock stuff. Lock world. <laughs> oh. oh, man. Ugh. But uh, I guess that's pretty much it. We, we rambled on for quite a while just about this show. But you see... We, we love, we love the Sonic series. I, I'm pretty sure you all could tell by that from this episode. So, is is there anything else you would actually like to say or mention, Matt, before we do end the song? Yeah, I mean, uh, I honestly think this is a pretty promising show in general. Um, if I were to give, like, scores for each of the episodes, I'd probably give um, the first episode, like, a 7 out of 10. And I would give the second episode probably a 9 out of 10. Uh, because, you know, there were some technical issues probably with like the lip syncing and stuff, but I can definitely understand because it is a French series being dubbed to American. So, or the USA or whatever. So I completely understand, but I feel like there's some things that need to be worked out in the series in general. But overall, I really do like this series and I'm, I'm glad I woke up early this morning. Yeah, it, it was it was definitely worth it. I, I didn't know if it would be or not, but I'm so glad I watched it earlier because it was it was definitely an enjoyable treat. <laughs> mm -hmm. But um, yeah, I agree with you. Um, well, I don't know if I'd give the first episode a seven. I mean, it wasn't like it wasn't like as good as the second one, but I I don't know. I, I think it was pretty decent. It was it wasn't a bad start by any means at all. The second episode, though, was fantastic. I, w I would definitely agree with you on the uh, 9 out of 10 for that. That was... Man, I, I, it, it makes me excited for the next one. It really, it really makes does. me excited for the next <laughs> one. But uh, I guess that wraps it up for uh, this TV review of uh, Sonic Boom. Episode, uh, I guess, 1 and 2 or whatever. I don't yeah. know how to exactly say it. One we'll say two. that. Yeah. We'll say that. <laughs> so let us know in the comments below. What were your favorite moments in Sonic Boom? Uh, did you like Episode 2 more? Did you like Episode 1? And who is your favorite character so far that you've seen? We would love to hear your thoughts in the comments below. And Thanks, if man. you did enjoy this... Make sure to drop a like and a comment, as it helps out tremendously, because, you know, this is something new for my channel and whatnot. It's new for both of us, and we can, we appreciate as much support as possible, so thank you all. Mm -hmm. And uh, also, not only that, make sure to go check out Matt, the owner of Tails' channel! Hey. Yep, his link will be in the description below, and like I said, he will be my co-host for this series. So be on the lookout for more reviews later on in the future. But, uh, yeah, is there anything you'd like to say before we end this off? Uh, I mean, this was a lot of fun. Again, I really do like Sonic Boom. Hope you guys do check it out, even if it's, like, online or using the Cartoon Network website or even if it's not America. Find some way to watch it because I guarantee that you'll like it. Oh, yeah. Like I said, we'll have a link to um, a video of, uh, oh, like, what, yeah, the best video that we can find for uh, both episodes. So go to the links in the description below, because we, we already know that, you know, even though it's airing in the U.S., it is not available for um, some people in, like, other, like, countries and whatnot. So we'll try and uh, have a link for you all in each and every uh, video review that we do of this series. But, uh, all right, I guess that's it. So thanks again. See you all. Have a good day. Peace, Cobon Rites. Peace, Cobon Rites. <laughs>